Okay, you can come to come come. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Try. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to Amy's channel. How are you guys doing? You should popping or whatever. Okay, say what you want to say, Amy. Are you <laughs> <laughs> Um, welcome back to my channel, guys. <laughs> it's the take. Welcome over. back to my channel. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Why are you not subscribing? Mm. To push Why are you to not push subscribing? Babies. To push babies to push babies to your okay. babies channel. <laughs> you're almost chopping and stuff. But whatever. Another friend in the car. Another friend in another friend another friend. And your uncle and your dog and your cat and your rat and that cockroach that lives under you're your fridge. You're missing out. As long as they have a Gmail account. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. It's fine. It's free. No, but you know what? And just stay in it, ay. We can spend all day in it, ay. And just play in it, ay. If you wear that loyalty so well, baby, you look great in it. And anything you do, I'm okay with it, ay. The song I'm dedicated in it, uh, to all the girls with the natural hand, that's all skin. But I'm so happy to see all of you. Thank you for joining me. Um, and this is essentially a celebration of the year that we're going to be doing the brand. Uh, and essentially in text. We've been in text for a year now. And just to give some of you who don't know who Matematica is, what we're about, a little bit of background. Um, the dream starts in 2014 when I was looking for a cake. I nourished my hair and I couldn't find anything on the shelves. Um, and then I started formulating in 2014 and finally launched in 2016. Um, and I've, I've repeated this story over and over, but today I want to share the clicks journey that hasn't been so easy, but a year later I'm actually having a high tea. Actually, it's for some Um uh, so as I said, um, we launched in 2016. Um, we started talking to clicks quite early. 2016, 2017, um, and it took us over a year to get in there. So we had committed to launch into the shelves on the 25th of July, 2018. We were certain, we were really excited. 25th of July, we didn't have funds, the product wasn't done yet, and we needed to go and bake. We needed to take time to go and bake for another week. Um, and a week later, we managed to launch. So imagine producing, labeling, packaging in a week and launching. And the day we launched, we were at the DC, very excited, and they were counting all the packages, the Centurion DC. And as we're leaving, excited and ready, uh, we find that one of the labels has the wrong barcode. So if you walk around in the stores and you look at barcodes, sometimes you see a barcode over another. Yes. And I used to wonder, like, what is that? Why would someone put it? Mm. Or do they do it manually? Mm. And I was that person. Conditioner <laughs> 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 had been locked with the wrong label, uh, the wrong barcode, and we had to fly all over the place again and go and sit so, I mean, this journey hasn't been easy, but one of the most fruitful. Mm -hmm. Some of you have walked the journey since day one with us. We have a store, 2016. And it's been amazing just um, experiencing you guys experience the product from the outside. I'm very biased. And then when you guys experience the product and you tell me that it's actually good, I'm very proud to present a product that is um, chemical-free, good for your hair, really nourishing, and you actually see the effect. 
Um, and that's why we have this thing going. Take it so clean, you can actually be taken away. Like when I put it on my Instagram, it's like I've spent time with this product and I really understand it and I'm really like it works with my hair. There's lots of times where I've tried different products that I was like like so excited to try and then it doesn't really work right. So I went to a Narasha event in November last year. It was November last year, eh? And then I was like, okay, I have seen the, the branding, like the orange. Uh, I followed I followed them on my Love Kings page, but not on my personal page. I'm mostly on my personal page. So I was like, okay, let me go. So I went and um, yeah, I got some products. I got to hear, talk the story. Very inspired. And I remember someone had said to me, I was promoting a different brand three years ago. And someone had said, the owner went to um, shops. Um, Shark Tank. So I was like, oh, this, this is how it comes together, you know? So I was very inspired to hear a, a very like local story, like, to hear how she started from the beginning and how she got to where she is. So I take the products home, it was the cream, it was, um, I didn't get the detangler, I got the oil. So I got the oil and the cream, and I wasn't big on the lock method there. Because I was just, it was summer, I was using water, and then I'd use a light, light oil on my hair, and then I wasn't locking in the cream, because it's summer. And then what I do is that once a week I'd lock in the cream, and that cream would last me the whole week. It's like if I just refresh with water, the hair almost even grows white again. And each day it gets less white, because the product, you see the product sort of like disappearing from your hair, right? Or getting absorbed more and more over time. So the product sat there for like two weeks, I hadn't tried them. And then my wash day came up. So I do um, I do a conditioner wash once a week, and I do a, I used to do a shampoo wash once a month, and now I'm doing a shampoo and, and, and ACV rinse once every six weeks. But every week I use a conditioner. So I people let me try the conditioner. So I tried the conditioner. I was like, okay, this is great. And obviously, the first time that you use the product, you can't really tell. You probably still have products, a different product to your hair. And, you, it takes a few times of using one product over and over to really know how it's impact, like how it's affecting your hair. So I did the co-wash, and I think I still. Um, so I did the co-wash the first week, the second week, um, the third week, and then I was using the oil. I stopped using all that I was using. I was using the oil, and then I started using the cream. So when I used the cream, that's when I was like, oh my goodness, like my hair is like really responding well, it's absorbing the cream. Um, so I always had problems with even raw shea butter where my hair just doesn't like, soak it up. So I get on Instagram and I DM to I'm like, what is going on? I, I, I DM the Nalotica page. I was like, my hair is soaked up the stuff and it's insane. Even the oil, they started talking me through how, you know, there's certain ingredients that you put in product that enable that process of um, of absorption, right? Because I had always understood what, what a 100% natural product was. I always understood what chemicals, like for example, vitamin B5, helps better absorption. But I never understood like what formulation means. And she was like, she spent a lot of time on the product formulation. And I was like, now every time I, I see anything, I look like, okay, what do they use? Oh, this B5, this, this. I know what glycerin does. And I think me too, we're talking, her taking me through how like she engaged with the formulation of the product helped me understand what different things do. What does it mean to have a natural product that has, for example, a, um, a scent, it has a fragrance. And I like that, because I was using raw products where I'd be like, yeah, I smell like shit butter, you know? But I like to smell like something else, like perfumey, you know? But like, I've, I've got eczema, so how does that react with my eczema? So the products smell good, and I was like, wow. So then I use them the, the, uh, November, I got them, so I use them December, January, February. And then in March, I was like, actually, even the texture of my hair, um, it's not changing, but it's it's changing, but not obviously genetically. It's changing because it's your regimen partnered up with the well formulated product. And yes, it doesn't make like everything, but I mean, so you partner up with all your different components that you have as part of the regimen. Then I like how it affects the texture of my hair and how my hair feels. I really like how the, the product really gets absorbed into my hair. The price points only also were very like shocking for me 
um, for such a well formulated product. Why should you? Why should you? Yeah. Yes. Why should, why should one? <laughs> See, for this small section, I'm using like the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. We start with the butter, we just crack it up. You can always add more, but once you take two hands, you can't take it out. So I'm always detangling, always. Obviously, to different extents, but I'm always detangling. So I think don't use too much product. You also need to just hold the product on. The whole, with the whole shrinkage thing, so when I started this natural hair journey, it was because of her. And she was like, whatever you do, just embrace the shrinkage. So this yeah. Like that. like that. You demanding attention. Got all the white girls asking how you get your hair like that. like that. Love when you go from the faux locks to the Marley twist. Or the braids that I used to see my mama get. Since she cut it all off, trying to start again. But if a haircut short, then she probably think it's obvious. I love my woman with a little color in it. A little fighter in it. A lot of lover in it. Stick around from the winter to the summer with it. Get a check, it's going up and finna run it with it. She never ready when I pull it up and come to get it. Fuck it, I know perfection. Take time to text and bay lines. She ain't worried about them other niggas. When we finish, I'll be trying to cut it with it. Got me trying to lay in it. Ay, and just stay in it, ayy. Maybe spend all day in it, ayy. And just play in it, ayy.